up here to be your first contact with extraterrestrials. We have always visited your planet since the beginning of time. Do not be disturbed. I am your friend. You're speaking to my mind. How do you do that? We had an implant when we were born. I am going to show you some images that explain what is happening to your planet and to you. You have a water planet. That is what attracted us to this world. You are the third planet from the sun. You call your planet Sol 3, surrounded by a thin 20 mile blanket of oxygen. Wow, these images seem vivid and real. Time is not important to us. Our images come from nanotechnology. We have been visiting your world since the beginning of time. We have been waiting for your culture to grow up. Primitive is defined as any culture which has not attained warp drive, which allows you to get out of your planet and explore the universe. Did you see Matt Hurley's book, The Alien Chronicles? ET encounters in art and texts since ancient times. Look at the image. You'll see Buddhist rendering of our contact with them. We are the sky traveling beings. The next image depicts Madonna and Child. If you enlarge the picture, you'll see a man looking up at the UFO with his dog in this medieval painting. If you enlarge the image, you'll see the UFO between the two buildings. I think they're identical. I saw a UFO once in my car. My dad said it was a bug, and I told him it was a UFO. It matched what you've shown me. You are a tribal warring planet. Just look at the USA, Afghanistan, Africa, Bosnia, Iraq. You bicker about ideology, religion, colonialism, etc. And then you go to war for it. We can't exceed rocket power, but we're getting nanotechnology and assemblers. It's going slow. Yes, it's beginning to snowball for you. You have to wait. You're on the right track. Our computers are so way ahead of yours. We build everything from the ground up, one molecule at a time. You are trying to build quantum computers. Do you remember K. Eric Drexler's book, Engines of Creation, published 35 years ago? He coined the word nanotechnology. Do we have UFOs? Yes. Just think of exploring your planet as a science project. Over the years, we are going to lose a few. We don't lose many, but we lost one at Roswell. UFOs are made from nanotech. That's why they're so outside your ability to replicate them. DARPA came into being because of Roswell. DARPA directs our scientific investigations into nanotechnology, quantum computers, qubits, zero-point energy, because they have UFOs and everything in it, which are based on nanotechnology. Wow, I'm going to tell people about this. ET's living outside of our galaxy. I would be careful of it. The military is going to threaten you, threaten your family, and ridicule you. Look up and see the sky somewhere where you're not subjected to light pollution. The Milky Way is up there, and you're looking at it. This is where you live in this galaxy. Your world is a mere speck in this whirlpool galaxy. Do you believe the fundamentalist Christian perspective that aliens are the work of the devil, said 700 Club founder Pat Robertson and the late Reverend Jerry Falwell. The two said Earth contains the only intelligent life in the universe. Looking back as far as the Hubble Space Telescope could see in the instant after the universe was formed, you see the deep field galaxy cluster. You see galaxies just like yours. If your culture thinks that they are the only sentient beings to inhabit the universe, they are mistaken. Life reaches out for life. Do you remember 1969 on the campus? Earth Day dominated the campus. And do you know what was the theme of Earth Day? Overpopulation. Your planet is getting pretty close to the fact that it can no longer support human inhabitants. Okay, it's time for you to leave. Just remember, we are your friends. And you, for coming here and instilling me with your thoughts. Thank you.
In the movie, do you remember what the Terminator said to John Connor? It's in your nature to destroy yourselves. <laughs>